Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee, and today we are going to do a 60 minute creative vinyasa. So it will be a full length class, really feel good, and a little bit more stretchy than my normal creative vinyasa classes. We still will do those fun transitions that you all know and love, but this class is really accessible to any level of yoga. So if you're a beginner, you are more than welcome to join this class. There is a Spotify playlist in the description. If you like music while you flow, you can go ahead and put that on. And just a little disclaimer, it is the afternoon here and right now it's not super bright in the studio, but it's getting brighter now. This is my example. So it's going to get bright in here and I know that I'll get comments saying I can't see you, um, but listen to my words, I will cue you because the sun is gonna come in and out and if I set the camera settings too dark, then you won't be able to see me because of it's too dark. So I know it's really cold here where I live and I can't be in the studio early in the morning because it's just freezing in here. It's like below zero outside and the heat in this old building doesn't work very well. So thank you for bearing with me through these winter months and having it really bright in here. Um, but yeah, let's get started with the flow. We are going to start in a child's pose. Toes together, knees wide, reach the fingers forward, and let the forehead rest. And then right away, bend at the elbows and take the hands behind the back of the head. You can inch the elbows forward one or two times, starting to find a stretch down the back of the arms, into the sides, sending the hips back towards the heels as you drop the chest closer towards the mat. And as always, just starting with a couple of deep breaths. So breathing in and breathing out. Noticing the quality of the breath today. Noticing how the body feels. Noticing what's going on in the mind. Is there something that you can let go of in these first few moments of class that will sort of free you for the next 60 minutes? So maybe it's something that happened today. Maybe it's something on your to-do list. Whatever it is, can you let it be outside of your space, outside of the four corners of your mat, and devote this time simply to you, to being present, body, breath, mind, together. Knowing that whatever is on your mind right now will be there when you're done. And that maybe you'll have a greater sense of clarity around whatever it is once you step off of the mat. Beautiful. And then gently release the fingers forward. Keep them off of the mat. Interlace them and then just roll out the wrists a few times. And then reach the fingers forward. On the in-breath, we're going to roll up to a cat shape. On the out-breath, dip the belly, tailbone high, push the hips back. Child's pose. Again, a little spinal roll through a cat-cow. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. So we've done these quite a few times together, but we're switching the breath from our normal cat cows. So notice how that changes the sensation, the experience. Whenever we switch out of a habit or out of something that's normal, sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming. It takes a moment to get the hang of it. But once you're there, can you start to notice those subtle differences? And maybe you feel more spacious in this type of flow than a normal cat-cow. And that's a big part of what we're doing on the mat is simply discovering our bodies, ourselves, in each moment that we're here. And then taking that knowledge back with us into daily life. Good. This time, stay forward. Come onto the fingertips. Slide the knees in underneath the hips. Really tuck the chin in towards the chest, arching the back. 
Tailbone drops down. Deep breath in. Breath out. Drop the fingers, or drop the palms rather. Neutral spine. Left knee stays down. We're going to pull right knee in towards right tricep. And then kick it all the way back, sort of like a baby back bend. Pull it in towards the tricep, and then kick it back. A little bit of core activation, starting to actively stretch through the front side of the body and actively back bend, right? So you don't have the help of anything, you're doing it with the muscles in the back. Good. This time, keep it back, and then we're going to open the knee out wide, take it all the way down into a circle, kick it back. So just a couple of big hip circles in the right knee. Beautiful, and then switch. And then the next time you take it wide, kick the right leg out, take the toes down, press down into the whole foot, and then bend into the right knee, and straighten. Little opening for right inner thigh, outer hip. I know I feel pretty tight right now, this feels good. <laughs> My toes slightly turn out, but you can have your toes facing in any direction that feels good on your right knee. Beautiful, and then we'll straighten the leg. I turn my toes facing forward for this. Right hand is going to lift up, left hand will stay down for support, so we'll inhale to open. Turning the chest over towards the right leg, on the exhale, thread it through Come down, maybe tap right shoulder, deep bend in the left elbow. Good, again, inhale, open it. And exhale, thread it through. So it's like that thread the needle, but with an extra inner thigh stretch. So you might not get the shoulder down, and that's totally okay. I'm definitely not there today, but it feels good anyways. Beautiful, last one. Good, and then inhale to lift it, and we'll just take some big circles in the right arm. So the chest is open, it's sort of a baby back bend. We'll do lots of chest, shoulder, and hip opening today. Beautiful, and then gently release the right hand down. We'll kick right leg all the way up and around to cross behind the left. Take the feet wide, and then push the hips back into Gomukhasana legs, continuing to reach the fingers forward like a child's pose. This will feel really good in the outside of the hips, glute media specifically. Breathing length into the spine. Beautiful, on the inhale, come on back up. Right knee drops next to the left, and we'll do that on the other side. So same thing, we'll pull left knee, left elbow and then kick it back, find that little back bend. Knee to elbow, little crunch for the left side, and then kick it back. So when you kick back, push into the hands, think about broadening through the chest, maybe lifting the crown of the head up and back just a bit. Good. Last one. Kick it back, hold it there, and then we're gonna turn the knee wide, open it, Pull it in and then kick it back. So taking a big circle in the left knee. Beautiful. And then switch the direction of that circle. And then keep the knee wide, kick the leg long, come on to the whole foot. And then let's bend, extend into left knee a couple of times. Toes can turn out, they can stay facing forward. Most important is that your left knee and left hip feel safe here. And a big part of this practice is listening to your body enough that you make the higher call. I can give you all the cues in the world, but I will never know what's exactly right for your body because you are really the only one who knows that.
Beautiful. Keeping the legs straight. I like to turn my toes forward, like I said. You can keep them out or forward. Left hand is going to stay planted. Right arm is going to lift all the way up. Actually, just kidding, sorry. Other side, right hand down, left arm lifts all the way up. So we're turning towards the leg, there we go. Rolling the chest open and then exhale, thread it through, come onto left shoulder perhaps and tap. Good, again, inhale to open it. And exhale to close it. So you should feel the stretch in the left side the chest, the shoulders, left inner thigh. Seriously feels so good. I'm also very sore from teaching bar on my app. If you like hard bar classes, check out my app. I'll put the link down below. The one that I filmed for this month is no joke. All right, keep it open. Let's take a couple of big circles. Opening through left shoulder. And you find which direction feels best. Noticing that this side probably feels a lot different than the other. I know mine does. Can you be okay with that? Embrace the imbalance. All right, left hand down. Left leg's gonna go all the way up and around. Go Mukhasana legs, feet go wide and hips go back. Flex the toes, reach the fingers forward. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, on your inhale, come on forward. Left knee lands, exhale, tuck the toes and send the hips high, first down dog. Spread the fingers, tailbone lifts to the sky and then let's bend into the right knee and the left knee. Pedaling out, downward facing dog. Maybe finding a little rock side to side in the hips, the head. As always, what is calling to you in this shape? Can you discover it? And instead of trying to think about it too much, let your subconscious, your intuition lead the way. So maybe you try something out, it doesn't feel quite right. And then it leads you to what does feel right. A lot of times doing something wrong or doing something one way shows us the way that we really want to go. Beautiful, come to stillness. Let's take a deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. If you haven't already started Ujjayi breath, great time to start it. Slight constriction at the back of the throat. On your next inhale, start to lift the heels and exhale to walk all the way to the top of the mat. Take as many steps as you need. Land with the feet hips width, take a deep bend into the knees and then fold over the legs. You can hold opposite elbows. You can interlace the fingers behind the head. Find chest expansion perhaps. Maybe you sway. Nod the head yes and no. Knowing that shifting the weight forward and straightening the legs will deepen the stretch, so be mindful. Gently release the hands, heel toe the feet together so the big toes are touching. Inhale to find a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the legs. Two more like that, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, one vertebra at a time, super slow, head and neck, last thing to rise. And then sweep the arms up at the top. Exhale to cactus the arms, lean back. Inhale, reach the fingers back up. Exhale, hands travel through the heart. Take a deep breath in, close the eyes for a moment. 
Exhale, sigh, let it go. You can make a sound. On your inhale, lift all the way up. On the exhale, cactus the arms. On the inhale, reach the fingers up. On the exhale, hands come through the heart. One more time like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands through the heart. And then we'll continue it all the way into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant the hand step back first, high plank. Send the heels towards the back of the mat. Belly button to spine, one long line of energy from crown of the head towards the heels. Push into the hands, slide the shoulder blades away from each other and take a soft bend into the elbows. Press into each fingertip and each knuckle. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next inhale, shift forward, exhale lower all the way onto the belly. Untuck the toes, press into the feet, inhale, cobra. Exhale to lower. Again, inhale, cobra. And exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath here. Last one. On your inhale, lift the heels. On the exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand. One time, exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. This time, shift forward and halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more. Anytime we pause in our down dog, feel free to come to child's, take a sip of water, and allow yourself to come back to you. Notice if the mind starts to wander, can you bring it back to this moment in time? Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more. Last one. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step, maybe float. Up in the mat, halfway. Forward fold. Chair pose this time. Inhale to bend the knees. Sweep the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, cactus the arms. Good, inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, cactus. The last one, inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep the cactus arms. Inhale. Stand all the way up. Exhale. Lean back. Open the heart. Inhale. Come back up. Reach the arms to the sky. Exhale. Uttanasana. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Plant the hands. Chaturanga. You could float. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Right leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale, square the hips, kick the right leg back. Exhale, pull the right knee to the nose. Take an in-breath here. On the exhale, figure four, down dog. Send the hips back as you bend into the left knee, crossing right leg over left. Inhale, shift back forward, pull the knee into the chest. Exhale, bend into left knee, figure four. One more, inhale, shift forward. Exhale. 
inhale, pull in, exhale, step the right foot forward, land the left knee, inhale, low lunge, sweep the arms up to the sky, on the exhale, cactus the arms, lean back. On your inhale, reach up, low lunge. On the exhale, open all the way up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, chaturanga. Maybe right leg stays lifted for an extra challenge. Up dog, down dog. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale to straighten the left leg, square the hips. Exhale, pull left knee to nose. Take an in-breath here. On the exhale, figure four, down dog, cross left leg over right, push the hips back. Inhale, launch forward. Exhale, shift it back. One more, inhale, launch forward. Exhale, shift it back. Inhale, launch forward. Exhale, step, left foot down. Right knee lands, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, lean back, open the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, where you're two, lift the back knee. Reverse, reach back. Exhale, chaturanga. Cartwheel down, up dog, to down dog. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. Again, two more breaths here. Find your center, find your moment of pause. We will continue to build onto that flow. Like, can you stay present, continue to stay present in your body and your breath? Trust yourself. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float. Top of the mat. Halfway. Fold forward. Inhale, chair. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, stand, keep the arms. Exhale, lean back, open the heart. Good, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hand step, maybe float. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right away, knee to nose. Take an in-breath. Exhale, figure four, down dog. Inhale, launch forward. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, launch forward. Exhale, shift back. This time, cross the right leg all the way over. And then roll onto the inside of the left foot. Lift left arm. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, curl left elbow, right thigh. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend, release, pull right knee into the chest, and step forward, low lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Beautiful. Inhale, spine to neutral, keep the arms. Exhale, twist over towards the right leg, keep the cactus arms. Inhale, twist and reverse, right hand, left thigh. On the exhale, cartwheel, left hand down. Lift the right arm, find a twist. Take a deep breath in. Cactus the right arm on the breath out. Beautiful. Inhale. Come all the way up. High lunge. On the exhale, cactus the arms. Tap the left knee. On the inhale, we're adding on. Lift. Pull the elbows together. Left knee comes into the chest. On the exhale, lean back. Tap the left knee. Cactus. Good. Again, inhale, lift. Pull left knee into the chest. Tap the arms. Exhale. Good, inhale to lift, pull the arms together, pull the knee in, full eagle, left leg over, left arm under. Press the palms together, lift the elbows in line with the shoulders, spine straight. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Beautiful, next inhale, pull left knee into the chest, keep the arms, exhale, fly it, eagle warrior three. Kick the left leg back, soften the right knee, think about reaching crown of the head forward. Take an in-breath. On your out-breath, start to bend into the right knee, left toes tuck under, and then twist. Keep the eagle arms. Hook elbows on right thigh. Good. Inhale. Come all the way up. Warrior two. Stay for the exhale. Inhale. Reverse. Reach back. 
On the exhale, bend into the left knee, skandasana back of the mat. Take an in breath and an out breath. On your inhale, turn towards the back of the mat, spin the left toes back. On the exhale, pigeon, left toes to the right side of the mat. Right leg long behind you will stay active in this one. So square the hips to the top. For now, the top of the mat, the back of the mat, shoulders square. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Again, think about lifting through the crown of the head, keeping left toes flexed. Beautiful, then gently plant the hands, tuck the right toes, inhale, three legged dog, left leg kicks up. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip, find a wild thing. Left toes go back, reach left fingers towards the back of the mat. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, come back through three-legged dog. Exhale, walk the hands to the front of the mat, standing splits. Take an in-breath and an out-breath. Gently release left foot next to right and then start to walk the hands over towards the left. Big stretch for the right side into the hip. And then we're going to continue that circle all the way around. Lift the heels to spin to face the back or the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, chaturanga, step or float. We meet in a down dog as always. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next inhale, lift. Left leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale, kick the leg. Exhale, pull. Knee to nose. Take an in breath. On the out breath, figure four down dog. Inhale, left knee pulls in. Exhale, figure four down dog. Inhale, left knee pulls in. Exhale, figure four down dog. Hold and then slide the left leg all the way around, finding that eagle bind. Roll into the inside of the right foot. Reach the right arm forward. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Curl in. Elbow to knee. Good, inhale, extend, exhale, curl. Last one, inhale, extend, exhale, curl. Inhale, extend, plant the right hand, left knee pulls in and then step forward. Right knee lands this time, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, spine to neutral, exhale, open twist, keep the cactus arms. Inhale, twist to reverse, Left hand, right calf. On the exhale, right hand down. Right knee lifts, left arm opens. Beautiful, on your next inhale, open all the way back up. Crescent lunge. On the exhale, cactus and tap. Inhale, we're pulling right knee into the chest, elbows touch, and then exhale. Step back, lean back, open the heart. Inhale, stand, pull the knee in, elbows touch. Exhale. Good, last one, inhale, stand, pull. Knee into chest, elbows tap. Exhale, full eagle, right leg over, right arm under. Press the palms together. Think about lifting the elbows and sitting low. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, pull right knee into the chest. Exhale, fly it. Kick the right leg back, soft bend in the left knee. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, start to land. Right toes tuck under and lift all the way where you're to. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, reverse, reach back. On the exhale, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into the right knee. Left leg is long. Think about lifting through the crown of the head. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On the inhale, start to turn towards the back of the mat and exhale, right leg across for pigeon. Flex the right toes will stay lifted for this one. Square the hips. Think about lengthening the spine. Left leg long in line with the hip bone. My hips feel very tight. So this is amazing. Hope it feels good for you too. Couple more breaths here. Stay with it. Find your ujjayi.
Beautiful, then release the hands, tuck the toes, inhale, three-legged. Bend the knees, stack the hip, find wild thing. Right toes, land, right arm reaches, left leg stays long. Think about opening the chest, opening the heart. And then we'll meet back in three-legged. Right leg kicks up, and exhale, walk two. In the front of the mat, standing splits. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out, fold. One more inhale. On the exhale, cross right leg behind left, and then walk the hands over towards the right. Big side bend, big stretch for the hamstrings. And then we'll continue that all the way to face forward, spinning the heels as you go. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus the arms. This time, lift the heels. Inhale, come up to stand. Try to keep the heels lifted. Squeeze the inner thighs together. And then on the exhale, drop the heels. Lean back, find a back bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog to down dog. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale, kick the leg long. Exhale, pull. Stay for your breath in. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, launch forward. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, launch forward. Exhale, figure four. Hold and then find that cross. Spin to the inside of the left leg. Reach the left fingers. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Curl. Elbow to knee. Bend into the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step right foot forward. Inhale, low lunge. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, lean back, cactus. Inhale, spine back to neutral. Exhale, open twist. Inhale, right hand down, left arm by the ear. On the exhale, left hand plants, find a twist. Cactus the arm, this time dip the hips. Inhale, reach back up, high lunge. On the exhale, lean back, cactus tap. Inhale, pull, left knee into chest, forearms touch. Exhale, lean back. Good, again, inhale, pull, standing on the right leg. Exhale, again, inhale, pull. Exhale, eagle, left leg over, left arm under. Press the palms together, lift the elbows. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, left knee pulls into the chest. Exhale, fly it. Eagle three, kick back. Take a deep breath in, breath out, start to land. Warrior two, all the way open. Bend deep. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, bend into left knee. Skandasana, back of the mat. Take a breath in. On your breath out, start to land all the way down onto the hips. Take your right hand to your left ankle. Left arm sweeps by the ear and find a little side bend. Think about rolling the chest open towards the sky. Beautiful, then on your inhale, come on up. Turn to face the back of the mat and spin to pigeon. Reach the right toes back, untuck them eventually. Walk yourself forward and then find a twist today. So right arm comes down, land the right shoulder. Left hand can stay down or can go up and around into your right hip crease to deepen. Knowing that will create a deeper sensation of stretch on the left hip, so if you need, find a regular pigeon. Long, slow, deep breaths. Beautiful, then gently release left hand if you have it behind you. Come all the way up, and then we're gonna turn towards the right leg. Reach back for it, find mermaid. So pulling right heel in, 
start to slide right foot to right elbow crease. Left hand can stay down or it can lift all the way up and around to connect. Try to square the hips. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then gently release that. Tuck the right toes under on your inhale, all the way up to wild thing. Plant the left foot, reach left fingers back, or try to reach them towards left calf. A little bit more chest opening. And then gently release that three-legged dog to standing splits. Walk the hands back. Take a deep breath in. On your breath out, crisscross. Hold over the legs. Walk the fingers over towards the left, big side body stretch. And then continue that, spin the heels, face the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, chaturanga. Up dog to down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. On your inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale, kick the leg long. Exhale, pull, knee to nose. Inhale here. Exhale, figure four, down dog, bend into the right knee. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, last one, and then cross left leg all the way over, roll to the inside of the right foot, reach the right arm forward, and exhale, curl it in, pull. Good, again, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, step, left foot forward. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, lean back, open the heart. Inhale, spine back to neutral. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, low twisted reverse. Left hand, right thigh. On the exhale, right hand down, left arm lifts. As you cactus the arm, dip the hips. Inhale, reach it forward, come all the way up, high lunge. On the exhale, cactus. Inhale, pull right knee into chest, top the forearms. Exhale, step it back, cactus. Inhale, come up. Exhale, cactus. Good, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, full eagle. Right leg over, right arm under. Sit low, deep breath in. Deep breath out. On your in-breath, pull right knee into chest. Exhale, kick it back, fly. Eagle three, take an inhale. Exhale, start to land. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into the right knee. Inhale. Exhale, drop the hips. Left hand, right ankle, right arm. Sweeps by the ear, find your bind. Roll the right shoulder open, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale, come all the way up, and exhale, pigeon. Right shin across the back of the mat. Lifting up, and then walking yourself forward. Left arm goes underneath this time, come on to left shoulder. Lay the left side of the face on the mat, right hand can stay down or it can go up and around into your hip crease. knowing that this will deepen the stretch. So if you need to stay up or in a regular pigeon, you are more than welcome to do so. Sending breath into the right hip. Closing the eyes for a moment, simply breathing.
release the right hand, come all the way up. I could stay there forever. Reach back, bend into the left knee. Find your mermaid curling the foot into the inner elbow. Maybe you stay right here or when you're ready, reach up and around to connect for a full mermaid. Press the head into the right forearm. And think about curling the heel in towards the body to deepen the stretch. Beautiful, then gently release. Tuck the left toes. Inhale, all the way open to wild thing. Reaching the fingers back, or if you want a little challenge, try to reach for the right calf. Not happening for me on this side. And then gently, three-legged dog, two standing splits. Right leg high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, right leg behind left, and then walk the hands to the right. Little side bend, forward fold. And then continue that, spin the heels, and find a forward fold facing the front of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, plant a hand, step or float. Chaturanga, last one. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. On your next inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to a seat. Sweep the feet forward as you lay onto the back. Feet plant, knees bent, reach the fingers by the sides. On your in-breath, start to lift into a bridge. On the exhale, super slowly lower. Rolling bridge a couple times. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower. And loving these recently, they feel so good. Moving mindfully, one vertebra at a time. Lifting the hips. Good, this time we'll hold it up. And release the fingers underneath you, roll into your shoulders. Step the left foot to center and lift the right leg up and then cross right leg over left for a figure four. So think about pressing right knee down towards the mat. Beautiful, then gently release the fingers, keep the legs as is, come all the way down onto the back, and then let everything move over towards the left for a twist. Keep the right leg crossed, you can take left hand to top of right thigh, and then use it to push into and twist a little bit deeper. And then we'll come back through center, uncross the legs, step the feet down. Again, a rolling bridge, inhale to lift, and exhale to lower. Just a couple more, breathing into the spine. Beautiful, this one, hold it up. And release the fingers, roll into your shoulders, and then lift left leg to sky and cross it over, figure four. Press left knee down towards the left, keep the hips lifted for a moment. And then release the fingers and come down super slow onto the back. Drop the knees over to the right this time. Use left arm, or right arm, sorry, into the left thigh and reach left arm towards the left to deepen. So using the help of this top hand can sort of traction the spine longer. So you should feel that in the spine when you press into it. Beautiful, and then we'll release that. Come back through center, step the feet down. One more back bend, bridge or wheel. If you're going to wheel, hands come above the shoulders, spread the fingers. On the inhale, start to lift the hips, tucking the tailbone under and then press all the way up into your wheel. Toes turn forward, drop the head, and enjoy the stretch in the front side of the body. And 
and then tuck the chin in towards the chest to release. Come all the way down onto your back. Let the knees knock in towards each other for a moment. Take the feet as wide as the mat. Hands can rest on the belly, the heart, or by the sides. Let's take a deep breath in together. And exhale, sigh it through the mouth. Let it go. And then start to heel toe the feet in together. Take the knees wide. Hands to the tops of the thighs. And then just manually press the thighs forward to lengthen the lumbar spine. Release that and then pull knees into the chest with the help of the hands. Happy baby. Soles the feet to the sky. You can rock here. You can stay still. You could straighten one leg at a time. And then release legs straight up to the sky, hands by the sides, let's point and flex the feet, roll at the ankles a bit, maybe shake the legs. If you have a block nearby, you could place it underneath the sacrum. So, so good to have your legs elevated, hips above heart. And then gently draw the knees back into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze and let's rock up to a seat. Stretch the legs forward. Keep a soft bend in the knees. And we'll find a forward fold. So reaching the fingers up, sitting up really tall. And then exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Reach for the feet, the ankles, wherever you can get. And then try to keep a slight up dog in the chest. So think chest forward, crown of the head forward, gazing up slightly, shoulders roll down the back body, and then you draw the tailbone up to lengthen the insertion point of the hamstring and glute. That will basically just deepen the stretch in the hamstrings and keep your back safe so it's not going too far into flexion. And then on your inhale, come back up. And we'll take the legs wide into a straddle for a moment. Flex the feet, reach right hand towards right foot. Find a big side bend over towards the right. And then switch. Side to side a few times, opening up through the side body. And then come back through center, walk yourself forward. Continue to flex the feet, send the heels away, and reach the crown of the head forward. Again, keeping that slight up dog in the chest. And when you're ready, inhale to come back up. Use the help of the hands to pull the knees in and we're gonna move to a frog pose just for a few breaths. So you could roll the ends of the mat over if you need to. Otherwise, walking the knees wider than the hips and then look back towards the feet and the ankles. So you're making two right angles with the knee and then with the ankle joint. From that point, continue to push the hips back and come down onto your forearms. So the more you let the body go forward, the less of a stretch you'll feel in your inner thighs and hips. So continue that backward motion the whole time we're in this shape. You could find a little rock. You could place the head, the forehead on blocks. Maybe your hips are super open and you're all the way down on the mat. 
when wherever you are, honor your journey. Even if it's not perfect in the eyes of what ideals are. So in what society says is perfect or the yoga world says is perfect, let it be special because it's something that only you experience. No one else can have the same exact experience as you in any moment. And that's what makes the world so unique, so special. Even the same two people trained in the exact same way, whether it's a yoga teacher, a doctor, or basically anything else, a scientist, everyone has their own lens, their own perspective on how the world works in their experiences in the world. So inevitably, what they produce will be different from the person next to them. And it is such a gift that we get to experience our own uniqueness and connect with others to experience their uniqueness. Long, slow, deep breaths. Continue Ujjayi. And then when you're ready, start to shift forward slightly. Come back up onto the hands and feel as you shift forward. That takes the stretch out of the hips, the inner thighs. In that point, you can slide the knees closer together. And we'll come all the way down onto our back for Shavasana. Sweeping the feet forward. Laying yourself down onto the mat, closing the eyes. And finding a shape that works for you. Again, it might look different from me. What do you need today? Once you arrive, let the shoulders start to relax. Let the jaw relax. All of the muscles in the face. And start to let the breath return to its natural rhythm. As always, if there's any final shape or movement that you need before Shavasana, you are more than welcome to take it. But when you're ready to come into stillness, can you commit to staying in stillness? Especially in a home practice, the tendency is to skip out on Shavasana. And really Shavasana is the most important part of the practice. It's the time that we get to assimilate everything that we did today. And it's also a moment of stillness. A lot of our days are spent doing lots of things stimulated by our phones, computers, TVs, overworking ourselves and feeling like being in stillness or doing nothing isn't productive enough. 
So remembering that everything needs to balance itself out. So we can't continue to go and push if we don't have these moments of stillness, these moments to restore, to rest. So can you stay? What will it take for you to stay in stillness right now? Is there something that you can let go of? Did that thing that you let go of at the beginning of class come back, knowing that you're almost back into the rest of the day? If so, can you let it be outside of your space just for a few more moments? We're not here for too much longer, so give yourself this time. Commit, be here, stay present. And in times where you feel really distracted in stillness, try to just focus on the breath. And not focusing necessarily on the control of the breath, but just following your natural breath into the lungs, into the body, filling you up. And then leaving the lungs, leaving the body, allowing you to sink deeper. And also knowing that that technique, your breath, is always going to be there for you. So when you step off of the mat and have a moment in life where you feel overwhelmed, anxious, panicky, know that you can come back to deep breaths and it will ground you back into this space, into your body, this moment in time and ground you back to your center. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Maybe start to wiggle fingers and toes, eventually reaching the arms up and overhead, rolling over onto one side to press yourself back up into a comfortable seat when you are ready. Closing the eyes back down for a moment. Sit up tall, click the hands at the heart center, press palm to palm, fingertip to fingertip. Final moment to connect with you right here, right now. And as always, can you find something to be grateful for in this moment and then include yourself in that feeling of gratitude. Let's take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Hands travel to the forehead center. Together we say namaste. Great work today. I hope you loved this class. Please let me know in the comments if you did. Give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps to support me and I appreciate you all so much. And if you would like more classes with me, I have an app. It has almost been a month since I launched it, so I have over 200 classes over there, just like this, and bar, sculpt, pilates, restorative, all of the things. So I'll put links in the description, like I said before, and I would absolutely love for you to join. There's a seven day free trial for new members, so there's nothing to lose. All right, I will see you in my next video, bye.